What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a beer ramble video. And what I've got here is some Lander Shark Lager beer. This is a special video. It is a viewer requested video. And it's special because um, I don't know the whole story behind it, but I have two people that are friends that watch my videos and Unfortunately, one of them um, found out they have prostate cancer and they're going to be going into surgery um, sometime in August. And this was the request that they would that I would do a land shark beer ramble video because this is their favorite beer. And I find that so awesome that um, they both share interest in my video. That's so cool. Whenever I hear of like other people say that. Um, them and their friends watch my videos or them and somebody else because like I don't really share ASMR with any of my friends none of my friends that I know of watch ASMR so um yeah that's totally dope and uh thanks a lot for watching and hopefully uh the surgery works so big shout out to you Kevin stay strong buddy and um yeah first one's for you bro and let's do it I've never had land shark beer before it kind of looks like Corona. Oh, let's try it out. Man, this was hard to find, too. I'm going to move this. But this was hard to find. I went to the biggest liquor store I have in my area. And they didn't have it. Um, buddy, buddy was actually pretty cool because he's like, can I help you find anything else? And I was like, no, I just, I really need land shark beer. I didn't tell him why or anything, but I was just like, that's the beer I need. And uh, it wasn't really busy there, so he, he got on his computer and got on his cell phone and he started calling around all these different liquor stores and he actually found the spot that had, or he found a couple spots that had it, so um, yeah, it took a little while to find it, but big shout out to that dude. Jackpot 
was, that was like two or three million. And randomly today, while I was on Facebook at lunch, I saw that the jackpot was at like 4.9 million. And like somebody shared it. Like I've never seen a post about it. I've never seen anything about 50-50 Oilers, right? But thinking of like her telling me that and then seeing that post, I was like, you know what? This is a sign. This has to be a sign. So I bought 10 tickets, which was only 10 bucks. Um, so hopefully I win. I think it went up to like 5.4 million, which is like a new record, I guess. I don't know, but they had to stop selling tickets. They're all sold out. My time at lunch. And then when I checked again, which was like an hour, they sold out 5.4. So 50, 50, I get half of that if I win, man, if I win, I will shit my pants, like legit fucking like crap myself and pay mom to clean it no. <laughs> but no I would fucking like I, I don't know but imagine though that was a sign I would 100% give that girl some money because she's the one that put it in my mind to buy a ticket right? I would have never thought about it um, but yeah I see a bunch of people on Facebook posting about it so uh, the draw should be in like I don't know, like an hour, so never know, guys, I could be a millionaire. It's not like quit your job kind of money, right? Because it's only like half of 5.4 is what do something, I don't know. Not good at math. Um, but, uh, yeah, but it's, you know, it's just a lot of money to be able to buy a house and um, just random shit, more gold chains, more land shark beer. Saturday and Sunday, that's what somebody at work told me, and uh, that would be awesome, <laughs> because I have the weekend off, but I also have Monday and Tuesday off, um, right when I got off work, I came home, somebody rang the doorbell, 
uh, it was Buddy to come fix the dryer. He comes in. Uh, um, I show him the dryer and stuff. I go take a shower. I come back out, and he's gone. Dryer's not working. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Wait a bit. He doesn't come back. So, all right, I'm piecing out. Door's unlocked. If he wants to come fix it, he can. Still didn't come fix it, so I didn't know what was going on. I was like, this motherfucker better not show up in the middle of me filming my video. So, I swear, and I kid you not, right when I turned the camera on and I was about to hit play, boom, the doorbell goes off. I'm like, this motherfucker, I swear, I'm not even joking. So, I run downstairs, and it's not even him, it's the landlord. She's like, did you pay your rent this month? Uh, yeah. Um, somebody sent her an email saying I didn't pay the rent. I was like, fuck that. Ran upstairs, grabbed my phone, showed her the email, um, of the email transfer that they accepted. I was like, look at this right there. And she's like, I know they're doing bad on their end. She's like, I know you, you'll pay your rent. <clears throat> she must have got it slow or something. I don't fucking know. But I'd rather have that than the fucking buddy in there messing around with the dryer while I'm trying to film a video. But uh, I guess buddy left while I was in the shower. He went and talked to the landlord and there's like a little small piece. He even told her it's like a really, really small piece. And um, yeah, he has to go get that so he can be back tomorrow to fix it. So I'll be able to dry my clothes again instead of going to my older sister's place, which I mean, it's not too bad. I just, that's even more effort to do laundry. I don't like doing laundry anyway, but then when I have to like pick it up and bring it to the car and drive it all the way over there, it's like, <laughs> fuck my life. I brought my little sister there to do the dish or do the dishes, do them, um, do her laundry, let the kids run around or whatever, and then I cook some chicken, and um, I ate like three chicken breasts or something like that, and there's like two left in the oven because I was like I'll come back later and eat it, but I didn't, and it's been sitting there for like two days, so I don't know if I'm gonna eat it when I go back. Can you eat chicken that's been sitting out for two days? sure I eat before I go over there, because if I don't, man, I actually feel buzzed, holy fuck, what percent is this, it's only 4.6, holy shit, I don't really have anything in my stomach, I think I had like carrots today to munch on, oh, I feel good though, um, something about chicken, I don't remember now, but, Chicken's good. I gotta throw it out. I gotta go over there, make sure I eat before I do. Because if I don't eat before I go over there, I'll end up eating it. And then I might get sick. And that's not good. Because I only have two days left of work. And I don't want to be sick for the weekend. Yeah, I'm super excited. Oh, that was not a fart. That was the fucking chair, I swear. It sounded like a fart on the fucking mic. Oh man. That's actually some good beer. Oh look at that. It even says quality on it, son. Yeah. Um, a song I've been listening to a lot lately is well, I think it's an older song, but I just randomly found it again and I was like, yo, this is dope. Post Malone, wow. I love it, man. I blasted in the car. Great song. I think somebody's outside fucking throwing metal. It sounds like there's two people outside throwing metal at each other. Today is the fifth, which means I get to move in to the new place. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Oh, man. I was, like, sitting at my sister's place a couple days ago, and I was like, it is really fucking quiet here. I was like, this is gonna be the perfect spot to film. I'm gonna be living in the same building as my 
my sister, but downstairs I'm hoping that the people above me don't have kids or they're not like fucking heavy walkers, but when we were there checking out the place, it was like super quiet, so I'm sure it'll be fine. If not, my sister said I could film at her place, so it'll be all good. I'm so excited. I sold all of my weights, almost. I sold um, my 245, or my 240 pound dumbbell. Can't even talk, man. I swear this shit's fucked me up. I sold my 240 pound dumbbells, my 60 pound um, adjustable weights, my easy curl bar, which came with 30 pounds of weights. Um, I sold my punching bag last night. And I still have my gin up bar and dip station to sell. And I've had a few people message me about it, so they're kind of interested in it. And that's pretty much it for the weights. I still have, like, a ton more shit that I want to sell because I just want to bring, like, I want the new place to just be basic right now. This place is, like, clutter. And I used to like clutter, but, man, it is hard to clean a house when there's fucking clutter everywhere because you got to move stuff and dust gets on that and that and that and I'm just not a big fan of dust. I'm a clean freak but I'm not like I don't like putting in too much effort it's like I want to keep it clean but I don't like moving a bunch of shit around so I don't know. I just want to get rid of like all this random shit that I picked up over the years. that were moms and I do it every time and yeah 
burgers with yogurt on them, which I ate, which I had to pay her back, so I went and picked those up today. I wonder if that 50-50 draw went by it. Imagine winning all that money. Oh my gosh. Like, I would shit my pants. Did I already say that? Did I already tell you guys that I would shit my pants? if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time